Good morning. Sorry, I'm a little late. And now I have a cat to entertain. Hi, come here. You can't jump in that box. There's too many things in that box. I know Steven's like in the shower, so it's impossible for you right now, but it will be okay. I suppose it's now afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. We're gonna do a painting this morning and um, I gave this all of like five minutes of my thought process of what I was going to do. Because what happened was I was like, oh shoot, what am I going to paint? Let's look through my favorite photos that I've taken on my phone. And I found one that I took. And with how rainy and like slight tropical storm that we have from Helene, like we don't have a big part of it because we're on the very edges of it. I was like, oh, this painting will work really well. And unfortunately, actually, this is what I can do. I need a pole also to be run. So I'm gonna put two photos in mod chat. And if someone could, um, we're gonna call them blue and we're gonna call them gold. And we're gonna send them up on the screen. And then we're gonna vote on which one we like better. Because I took this photo of some drops on a bunch of the grass that was hanging over on the sidewalk the other day. And I really liked it. So um, I'm going to paint it, but I, I was messing with the color, trying to see where the lines were better so I could look at it and draw it. This is what I need. Um, and I really liked what I had done with the color, but I didn't know which one I liked better. So we're gonna vote on it. So I have my little eight by 10 canvas, which is really loose. This whole set that I bought, like, let's see. Like, it's really, there's so much flex to this in like not a drum way. So I need to tighten this. You can kind of see it in the light, or at least from the backside I can, like where I sprayed the stuff. So that will tighten up nicely. I also have bad news. The spray bottle I like so much, this thing, the continuous one, Delta Artist I can't find on Blick anymore. And I searched Delta Artist Ultra Fine Mist Sprayer and um, couldn't find it. I mean, there's a lot that look identical to this on other marketplaces. So I sent one to Steven and I was like, please order this for me. Like it sprays, but it stays down. And then like this, this is not where it should be. It's supposed to pop back up. So you can like spray it a bunch and then it keeps going because it's a continuous mister. So it's time for a new one. I've had that thing since like 2017. So yeah, now I have a generic one that will hopefully be on its way to me soon. It's also, I think a bigger, it's a bigger bottle to hold more water. So we will fix that. All right, um, let me get through these five alerts. We'll show both versions of this photograph I took. Then I messed with the color. I messed with the color extremely. Um, and then um, I'm gonna start drawing it because I'm going to grid draw it. And then I'll, based on the poll, we'll decide which one we're going to do. Um, we have a subscription from Azurite069, welcome. 11 months from Super Yoshi7. Uh, 18 months from Ryan B 6 A subscription from Silver Kate, welcome in. And 18 months from Jay Linebeck. Thank you all. Thank you, Chaz. Chaz, could you um, run that for me? Because otherwise I have to like reach for keyboard and that's hard. 
And then if someone could start a poll that says blue or gold. <laughs> this is the blue one. So this is blue. It's like slightly purple. And then the other one is gold. And then this is gold. Option one, option two, that's fine. Option one is blue and option two is gold. So which one do we like better? Someone will start a poll. Maybe Fossix, because Fossix is here. Oh, I do have to reach for the keyboard for this one thing. Dang it. There we go. Option one is the blue one and option two is the gold one. Uh, we have a seven month resub from uh, Kalk9. Twitch gifted two subs to Marials and Flatmat. I think that was part of the September thing because Mino Gozo uh, gifted five subs and they went to Reaper's Delight, NJC5, Mochi the Sergal, Queer Quest, and Prince Bubblegum. Thank you for the gift subs. <laughs> Renee says, Pole is already Polin. So um, I'm going to do the grid here flat because that's much easier on me. Uh, let's see, we have 28 for option one and we're like halfway done and 31 for option two. Sorry, 72%. Well, thank you, Mino. Um, Ideally, I should do this in chalk pastel, but I'm not going to. <laughs> Take advantage of the extra subs Twitch is doing? Yeah. Why not? All right, so I'm gonna start gritting this every inch. So every inch I'm just making a little tally mark. And then I'm going to just do that the other direction and make a nice little grid. All right, poll is almost done, but it I don't think that will change that quick. So we are doing the gold one. Let me delete the blue one from my iPad so I don't accidentally forget. Well, have a good work day, Mino. Thank you for hanging out. All right. Um, so I think I showed this technique off when I did the big painting for Carly. And when I was in fifth grade taking art class as most fifth graders, you know, have to as part of related arts, um, there was a project we did and my teacher taught us how to grid things. So we had to look through all the magazines and find a photo that we really liked. And then he taught us how to grid draw. And then um, instead of coloring it or painting it, we had to go into a magazine and cut out chunks that fit inside to fill like the color. Let me see if I can, um, and I've done this with high school students. And I remember being very proud of what I did. Okay. I'm like, I'm finding a few decent examples, but like if you're looking at like a magazine collage, like the picture I ended up drawing was a Siamese cat, like jumping down. So it was like looking up at the Siamese cat and the Siamese cat was like coming downwards. So its paws were out and its tail was up. And like the whole background was blue sky. And I did a really good job on it. My aunt actually has it, and um, at the time she had two Siamese cats, and their names were Millhouse and Binky. 
And so I did this art piece and I gave it to her and she had it in her house forever. She may still have it, but she's moved since then, so I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, I learned how to grid draw in fifth grade. Oops, I just <laughs> drew my fingernails because they were curled over the edge of the ruler. So I showed this one and did the big painting because it was easy to have here and do vertically up on the easel so you could see it. But I'm just drawing, see these parallel lines? I'm gonna do the same the other direction so I have a grid. And then I have a grid over that photo on my iPad so I can see exactly what square gets what part of the drawing. So like all those little water drops, I can see like, oh, square 1A gets like these two water drops and then like the start of this piece of grass and I can start to draw that in with just square by square. And that's actually how I did the grease eye because it was the photograph Brandon took and I did do a grid draw for that, but I didn't do that on stream. I did that in February when we were all sick with COVID, which is not what Steven has now. He's tested a few times and like his symptoms don't really line up. And I'm still managing to stay well. We have an 18 month resub from Layla3, thank you. <clears throat> Fossick says, any plans for tonight? Um, there will be something tonight on Steven's channel. When I'm done streaming here, we will have our meeting and um, discuss that. And I still have a little bit of a wrinkle right here. I'll have to fix that later. So you can see how it's just a grid of blocks and now we are going to start um, drawing this. Okay. So I have the same amount of blocks on this photograph and I did that because I know this is eight by 10. So there are one by one, so I have 10 across and eight down. So I have my photograph and in Photoshop, I cropped it to eight by 10 and made sure I liked the placement of everything. And then I used the grid lines in Photoshop to have it do 10 and eight. And then I took a screenshot <laughs> of that and sent it to my iPad. So I could see exactly where everything needs to sit. Renee says, are you stealing Chaz's brand? That looks like a lot of squares. Listen, when they come up with a really good way for Chaz and I to do versus square stream, maybe we can. Because we both play a lot of that. Oh, is this dark? You need to come here and get closer. Because I can't see. Um, let's see. Are you all the way bright? You are all the way bright. Let's just up that exposure just a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> this depiction, not <laughs> pit cross. Pie cross. I know it's like... I think picture cross, so it's like pick cross. Like it's both. Okay. Let's draw this. So this first square, it starts kind of in this bottom corner. And that goes like up to here. And then the next square, it goes to about halfway up the square, like it continues. And like that's where I can start to see exactly where this line should go because it's a blade of grass so it kind of does this like arc. 
and then the next one goes up there. And it finally hits the top of the canvas at one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So here. So that's my whole line. That's how we do this. And on the next one, I can find that the bottom of this blade of grass hits right here at this intersection. And it goes to right about here. So I can kind of do like the same line. And continue to draw the whole thing in. So that's that one. <laughs> and then I have like one, two, three, four main blades of grass to draw. There's a cut in the sidewalk that goes down this way. And then I have some other shapes I can work on drawing. So this, the main one that you can see in the photo starts here. Where's a good cross marker? Nowhere. But it does end over here. So you can do this a few ways. You could draw like this square and then just keep drawing in all the way down and then the next column or go across and do it that way. Or you can draw the entirety of an object. So I flip back and forth on what I like to do. And this one I will probably draw the entirety of each object to start to show myself where it is. And like you can go either way with it. When I did the grease eye, I did it square by square. So like I drew each, everything that is in this square I drew and then I move on to the next one and drew that too. Um, but sometimes when you have a nice long line like I have for these blades of grass, I like to draw the entirety of it so I can make sure I get that whole shape right. So like my line kind of does like, it dips down here and then it gets up too high here. So that's kind of why it's nice to do it this way. So I can kind of make it a bit more of a graceful line. We have a three month resub from Digit K, thank you. Hello, good morning, afternoon. I still feel like it's 11 a.m. and not noon. All right, next blade of grass. They all kind of start from the same square. So this one actually stays in this entire column. This guy, this one. And it kind of has this like crest right here.
And then this one crests right here. The cut in the sidewalk is starting here. And this actually should be super straight because it is not a blade of grass. a leaf. It's honestly getting a little hard with how my lines are to see what I'm doing. Okay, I'm gonna draw the water droplets and then I'm gonna erase the grid and then draw in a little bit more detail. Actually, let's do this so I can make this line smoother. Much better.
So there's the first one. And now the rest of these, because of the light shining through them, kind of get this like bokeh effect. So they're closer to round circles. I drew that wrong. <laughs> I miscounted. Miscounted those squares. Where was I on counting? Um, let's see. Let's start from over here. One, two, three, one here, nothing here, one, two, three, four, five, this one, Ghost one, one on the line. That's why. Okay. I didn't start over far enough. Three. Line, center, and then two. There. Next blade of grass. And then finally, we have just a few up here. And these ones are a little bit in focus instead of just being like the bokeh.
Okay, that's a good amount of this. Now I just need to erase the grid lines. Where's my next one? <laughs> okay, they're still there a little bit and that's fine. We're just going to start to block in things. So I think it would be best if I start to block in with black paint first. Maybe start dark and work towards light. I need to move to um, the gold photo. So I don't accidentally paint the wrong tones on this. Get all the eraser marks or dust, find the palette. Gray one. Oh, you know what might be fun? I think it's downstairs though. Let's check. Once I move everything out of the way to get the palette on the table. All right. Do I have it or is it downstairs? Ah, it's downstairs. I thought it might be fun to put a little bit of gold paint in this. Just a little bit. Just so there's a little metallic sheen to it. Because I've never gotten to use that for anything. I don't know how I feel about it. Yeah, this bottle is totally not doing what it needs to for me. It's totally at the end of its lifespan here. So let's see. I can let this soak for a minute because it needs to soak anyway. Vagabond says, nothing's stopping you from signing in Yin Min Blue. Where is my Yin Min? Nope, I know what I need. Sketchbook. Where's my blue sample page? Blue sample page. What color is my phone case? Oh, it's not quite Yin Min. It's close though. It's like a grayer Yin Min or a grayer ultramarine. <laughs> P 
paint the case. And I need to flip to a page in the sketchbook so I can sample things. Sample page. Um, now I just have to decide if I truly want to add gold into this painting. Do I? There was canvas. Um, I have a pearl version or a silvery version, but there was a company that was making gold canvas and that would have been great. But they stopped making it and I don't have a gold one to paint this on. So I just have to decide if I want to add gold or if it'll be too gaudy, too kitschy. How do we feel about kitsch? I don't love kitsch. I'm just starting to peel off the paint on my palette. Renee says, go big or go home. Okay, fair. I'd make Steven go get it, but Steven is sick. And I'm trying not to get sick, so we're trying to be apart from each other. Let me go grab the gold, because I can then decide if, after I see it. Okay, this is the gold, and it's not overwhelming. It's interference, which means that, oh gosh, I shook it, and it's just like pouring out of this cap. So like, you see how it looks gray? I'll let it catch the light in a second. Once I clean up the mess I just made. See it catch the light. It's gold, but it's only in certain shiny. Like, is that where it really is gold? So it's not incredibly bright. It is a bit cooler of a gold than I think I want. Let's flip back a page for fun. Because I have this blue swatch for some reason <laughs> from Big Painting. I don't remember why, but I have it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some glazing liquid. Let's catch this in the light. Do you see it hit the light and turn gold? The bottom one has the most glazing liquid in it, so it's subtle. 
And the top one has a little bit still, so it's not as bright as this sample is. So I think that decision that I can reach is that if I want to paint everything without this, I can always add a glaze of it on top if I want. I think that's the conclusion I'm reaching. Because it's not quite the same warmth of gold that I want. It's a little bit of a cooler one. So I think that is the conclusion I've reached, is not to use it straight up. And like, I can mix it in with color. And it would just give whatever color I mix it into a look. But I can also just glaze it on top later. And I'll have all of my swatches of all of my colors on here, so I can literally just glaze on top of this with the gold and see how it looks. So Golden has two types of metallic paints. They have Interference and, um, what is the silver one? I have one, I have Golden Interference and I have Silver in the other. And the silver is a lot more intense. So it's like, this is more of a subtle sheen than the other one is. And I forget what the wor their wording is because I didn't grab that one. I only grabbed the gold. We have a 13 month resub from Melzy D. Welcome in today. Fire Goddess says, how is grandpa? He's still sick. He's doing fine. He's had all kinds of soup and tea and Gatorade and Dayquil. This morning I brought him toast and Gatorade and a protein bar and took care of the Kepler so Kepler wasn't bothering him. Okay. I'm going to mix up a dark brown and just stay away from black. I'm deciding if I want to use burnt umber. Let's pull out bone black so it's not as intense. Because like burnt sienna is going to be my best friend with this painting. It's going to be so many of my shadows. It's such a warm, beautiful brown. But on its own, it is not dark enough. So if I mix it with bone black or I just go with straight burnt umber, one of those is gonna be the way to go. So let's swatch that inside. And I'm going with bone black because it will make it darker without overwhelming it, unlike carbon and Mars black. Of the two, Mars is a warmer black than carbon is. Carbon's a cooler black. So one has more brown tones and the other has more blue tones. Mel ZD says, just got power back in Florida. Good. I hope things were not too bad there, wherever you are. I didn't talk to my dad. He posted to the group chat and said that, um, as far as he could tell when he messaged me, at least things were fine. But he is not coastal. So he didn't really have a whole lot to be too concerned about. I hope Maddie feels better, Renee. 
Mel CD says, outside west of Tampa. I also talked to my grandma this morning, iPad grandma. I only have one grandma, it's iPad grandma. Um, and she's like, I just wanted to make sure you guys were okay. And I was like, yeah, we're good. We just got a lot of rain, but it's not even, we're not even in the bad part of the storm. We're just getting the outside band. And she has family in Tampa. And she said that they had, her sister was fine, but um, her son had gotten some water close enough to the coast or the bay or whatever. All right, let's swatch some of this. So this is burnt sienna. And like I said, it's really warm. And then this is it with bone black. And then we're gonna try burnt umber next to it just to see which one I like better. This may be warm enough for what I want. The umber, like two coats of it or a thicker coat of it. And that's it with bone black as well, but I want to see them together. have to go with plain umber for my shadows or for my deepest colors and I can always add bone black in a wash over to darken it if I need to Kita says I'm late but hello I was late too we've only been streaming for an hour this is and this is is not quite dry enough yet. I'll just set that off to the side. Okay, I'm using Burnt Umber for all of the shadows and we're just gonna work our way into some lighter colors until I have a good blocked in system for this painting. I do not wanna use fluffy brush though. Fluffy brush is too soft for this. Grab a handful of flats and maybe some filberts. Okay, all of the darkest areas, I want the iPad back. It's still too far away. I'm going to block in.
and these are blades of grass, so they do have green on them. And they will get that eventually. This is not normally how I paint. So it's really weird for me to not block in like the background and then paint the midground and then the foreground. Renee says, with a grid, it feels kind of like a DIY color by numbers, squares instead of numbers. A little bit. And I think that's helpful. And then I'm just doing like this dry brush around everything else just to give myself an idea of some of the tones of this.
In a way, this is kind of like doing an underpainting. A little bit. I like the stage of the painting where you're starting to see things come together. It's like, ah, there it is. I might mix a little bit of bone black into this part. Just so I can see the difference. Sorry, Renee. <laughs> Lots of paint drops. Sapphire Becker gifted five subs plus two because of Twitch, and they went to Adris10, Segheramon, Mumbling Biclops, JT1993 from Picarto, Mino Gozo, Edo Bean, and Broken Quest. Thank you for the gift subs. <laughs> she says lurking, but I want to drop some birthday subs. Have a great stream. Thank you. I hope you have a good birthday. I hope you get to do all the fun things for your birthday.
Gus Carter said, sorry, I had to look up the term underpainting for us in our uh, mid forties. Yeah, um, it's like a priming like the canvas. There's different ways to do it and different reasons to do it. I'm doing it slightly more in a grisaille style, which is where you do um, it in like a solid color instead of not. But I'm just using it to kind of block in where everything is going. Because like I can draw it, which is what I did. But this will help me start to see where everything is and what the colors are going to be. And then I can also continue to just kind of dry brush in the background colors here. To help myself out. And I'm gonna just do that because it's kind of fun. <laughs> and sometimes it's just, you don't wanna put paint on the canvas. It's this brand new nice canvas. And it feels weird to kind of ruin it in a way by starting to paint on it. There's like an anxiety there. So sometimes being messy in your painting to start with is a good place to be. And then this is the cut out in the sidewalk. So that is very dark.
Ooh, what's up here? We kind of have a shadow from this right there. So I'm starting to see that in the lines on the pavement and all the texture down here. Kitty. Get them. Is Steven ignoring you? That's way too much for a dry brush. That's okay, this is an underpainting. Okay, I think that is a good rough draft of this. So. I'm trying to decide exactly what I want to do next. Maybe continue this on the edges of the painting so that's done. I forgot about this song too. We have 14 month resub from Reed, thank you. Good afternoon. I haven't had Waffle House in a while. I think the last time I had it was around Brandon's birthday. And for some reason, they were like, our Waffle House is only um, to go between the hours of whatever and whatever. They were like corporate policy, which sounded like BS. But they just didn't want to deal with having people in that late at night. Vagabond says, so last month, yeah, beginning of August. Now I don't have the photograph with the edges of the painting, so I just have to kind of guess how this looks.
Kylie Love says, are you marking the side or painting on it? I'm painting on it. So I wrap my canvases. Um, some people don't paint the edges. I like to continue the painting onto the side. Do I have a finished canvas in reach? I can see them, they're over there. So this is the one we worked on the last two weeks, was this guy. So you can see that the painting continues all the way around. And I know I said last week that I would paint the bottom and finish it to look like the water here, and I didn't. So that's um, something I'm going to do as soon as stream is over. That way people don't have to frame it. They can. I don't know if anyone's framed a piece before. I know Brandon's going to frame the grease eye at some point. He knows what frame he's getting, he just hasn't ordered it. Ernie says, keeping it real. Yep. Renee says, I mean, you have been busy. You've had a sick husband to take care of. Yeah. And a cat to entertain. Doing the other streams. We have a 13 month resub from Charlotte Dante. Thank you. With the proper emote. <laughs> Dragonstorm says, hopefully Steven feels better. Drinking tea will help. He's had tea. I've been bringing him some of that. I made soup, I made pickle soup. Mostly I made pickle soup for myself because I wanted it. last edge of the canvas. 
and this one is probably the easiest. because it's just random texture. There, there's our rough draft. I like the layout of things. There's a lot to do. But now we can get started on it. Next time, <laughs> next week. So it's a good rough draft. I'm happy with it. I really like the painting. I mean, the photograph I took. So like, I know it's going to turn out. This is all things I'm totally capable of doing. Um, sometimes I do a painting and I'm like, oh God, I'm really dreading this part of the painting because I know I'm going to struggle with it. It's something that I don't feel confident in painting. And most of the time I do surprise myself. And I think that happens with a lot of people who are doing anything creative. What is it supposed to be? These are grass fronds, like big long pieces of grass where my neighbors didn't mow. And then there's just little drops all over them. And then like this line here is a cut in the sidewalk. So we're getting like the texture that I'm just blocking in and some more grass sitting in the background here. So like these are all of the little dew drops and water drops. And then they get to be a little bit more of like a bokeh effect back here. And then these ones are a little bit more in focus also. So we're going to keep filling things in. I think I want to, what I want to do, let's look at my photo. Let's do that. So photo, this is what we're doing in this color scheme too. So I'm probably going to start by what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to block in all of the background stuff, all of the pavement parts. Like everything that's like blurry back here. And then we'll start to do some of these more background pieces and then the foreground pieces because those are going to be super sharp lines. That way it'll look like the water drops where they reflect what's behind them flipped. And we voted on gold because it was between gold and blue and we picked gold as a chat at the beginning of chat. <laughs> That's what we're doing. Let me clean off my hands before I pick up this other painting again. And then we'll talk about what's going on on upcoming streams. That's dry enough. Cool. We might add in actual gold paint. Do you see the shimmer? And then like in certain lights, you can't really see it, but we might add in a little bit later. We were testing it and seeing how gaudy it was. And the answer is not too gaudy, but we can put it on top later if we want. Um, this isn't the right painting. The time of day paintings I did that were based on my college artwork, they kind of look like this, which is why I thought about this one because they're all ocean scenes. Um, those will be up. I need to ch talk to Dan because I think the videos are done. So those will be up on my YouTube channel soon. Um, I don't know which one was first. I think I did the dusk one first. So the dusk one will go up first and that will go on eBay and Redbubble. I need to make a reminder. because I wanted to make a triptych out of all three on objects. So like it'd be one, two, three on like a thing. Cause I have them all individually up on Redbubble ready to publish, but I wanted to do something with all three together, like on the coffee mug where they would, let's grab the big one, where they would like wrap around the side. So there would be like one, two, and then three. That's what I wanted to do. I need to do that. 
So those ones will be coming out soon. Um, tonight on Steven's Twitch channel, there will be a thing. I'm hoping he's feeling up to doing it. I think that will make him feel better, like to do something, because he's been sitting around and it's a little stir crazy. Um, Monday, I will be playing Dark Cloud 2 right here. And we're wrapping up chapter six. Like we only have like a floor and a boss battle and then a long cutscene, I assume. And then we move into the final plot chapter of the game where plot happens and not secret difficult chapter of the game. <laughs> the after credits chapter of the game. Um, so we're getting almost to the end of that and I'm excited about that because the next chapter has one of the coolest dungeons in the game and I'm excited for you all to see it because it's very pretty. And then Tuesday will be breakfast stream. And next Friday we'll continue working on this, working on the pavement, getting that all painted in. So let's do a roll. Thank you to my Patreon supporters. If you're interested in that, you can check out the links in chat. And I think that's all the things I had to announce. So next week will be basically, I'm assuming Steven will be fine by then, normal streams. But tonight there will be something, and I think it will be fun whatever it ends up being, because it will be unique, and I think it will be a lot of fun to watch whatever it ends up being. Gaming fan says, I missed what we were doing. I don't know. As soon as I am done here, I think we're going to have a meeting about that. So I'm also in the dark about that. But there will be something, and I think it will be fun, whatever it ends up being. So thanks everyone for tuning in today. Sorry it was a little bit late. And um, I don't know if I'll be seeing you tonight or Steven will, but otherwise I will be here Monday and I will see you all Monday. Reed gifted a sub to gaming fan. Thank you for the gift sub. <laughs> That's fine, I'll see you tonight maybe. Maybe, we'll find out then. All right, hope you all have a good Friday and maybe I'll see you later. <laughs>